Hi, my name is Brandon Schlatter, and I have a new innovative way for your organization, the Arc of Alachua County, to raise additional funding. Mr. Swain, thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to what I have to say. I found out about your organization, like many do, on Free Shred Day. I had some sensitive documents and took to there to get them shredded. After this, I had spoken to several of your customers and your other clients and staff and found they're all wonderful. This enabled me to learn more about your organization and the mission and cause, the reason you guys exist. And I really would like to help you in any way that I can. As a student at Santa Fe, many of us have the issue of eating snacks between classes. Many of us don't have time to go to get fresh snacks in the library, in the bookstore, or in the cafeteria, as it takes too much time. I, for myself, only have 15 minutes between most of my classes, and that does not give me near enough time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's a map of Santa Fe College. The library is here. The cafeteria is here, and the bookstore is here. Now, the only issue with that is all of my classes are on this stretch here in these buildings. Now, this is the same case for many students, as many of the bachelor programs are located on this side. Now, the vending machines are an option as well, but they don't offer any fresh goods, and the cookies and brownies that are in there, I don't really care for them, and on top of that, they're also pricey. So, what I have decided to do is to host a bake sale. Now, I know we can go two routes with this. One would be to have a homemade bake sale, and the other would be to have a store-bought bake sale. The plans would be similar to sell 120 goods at each bake sale, 60 cookies and 60 brownies. The only difference between the two, in addition to them being store-bought to homemade, is the store-bought goods would sell for a dollar a piece and the homemade goods would sell for two dollars a piece. Now, you might ask yourself how much something like this might cost. And I have provided the projected startup cost this would take. Now, it would come to a total of $99.08, but let's break it down a little more. The equipment, we would need an electronic card reader, glad cling wrap, and table. The electronic card reader would be crucial for us as we could accept digital payments and card payments and virtual payments as well. Just really expanding our opportunities and just being available to a bigger crowd as well. Other than this, the costs are very similar. We have the store-bought goods coming to $33.54 and the homemade goods coming to $27.60. Now, this is what each bake sale would cost to perform. So when doing this on a large scale basis, this is what I have calculated the numbers on. And this is the projected sales and profits. So the store bought pilot sale would generate $120 in sales, assuming we sell everything. The homemade sale would generate $240 in sales. And this would be a total profit after subtracting our expenses of $251.02 or 70 cents a baked good. Now, I would really love you to endorse me in this idea, but if not, I will be willing to put up the $99.08 to host the two pilot sales. Then I could come back to you with solid data and prove that we could generate funding for your organization with this. Now, we do have a tight timeline as I would want to do 30 pilot sales during the whole fall term. Now, the first pilot sale would be done on August 20th, 2020. That's when I would do the store-bought sale. And a week later, on August 27th, 2020, I would do the homemade pilot sale. After this, you could make the decision on which way we should proceed for the rest of the semester. The reason those sales are two weeks apart is to have them on the same day. This helps eliminate bias. We also will have them in the same location and the same time, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., leaving me plenty of time to sell all the baked goods as I have also determined that this is the most popular time of the day for the campus. This would also be on Thursday, which is one of the most popular days at Santa Fe College as well for students. The location would be in the same between buildings E and M in the breezeways. So this would allow us to not have to worry about rain or any other factors of us closing down our sale early. Based on my calculations, the 30 store bought sales would generate sales of $3,600 and a profit of $2,323.80. Now, if we did the homemade sale, then it would generate $7,200 in sales and $6,192 in profit. 
And I really think this would be very beneficial for your organization. Not only could we generate some funding for you, but we could also help the other students learn about your mission, cause, and why you exist. Thank you very much for your time.